So, <clears throat> Will just got out of bed, so I'm going to take that. And she said she's feeling a little better. She said her, stum her tummy feels a little yucky still, but she's feeling a lot better. So, as you can see, she just got up because... I didn't fold the blanket over. Normally, I fold the blanket over when they don't. They've been up for a while. That means we're going to move little Missy down here. And I'm going to take your toys off of here. So Ellie can play. Because I'm going to feed you in the high chair. Okay, Lola? So we're going to feed Lola in the high chair. So come on, sit up here. So. Yeah, okay. Well, for a minute, I'm going to have you sit there, so I'm going to make, this is going to be a video of me making this candy meatballs, and then I will feed it to her in a minute. use this brown play-doh for the uh, meatballs, and this one's way too neon, so I'm going to use this yellow. So I'm going to put these away because those will need, these two items will need at feeding time. So I'll just put those, um, so I'm just going to put that in the little cup holder and put that right there. Okay? Don't chew on that or else I have to wash it. Okay. So I'm going to take this, because it's a small container of Play-Doh, we might not have as much as you'd think it would be. And what inspired me to make spaghetti and meatballs is Maddie and Max's meals. Um, by Killer Maple. If you don't know her, sub her, she's amazing. And I have to watch some of her videos. Alright, so I'm just rolling some of this out. And I'm trying to make sure that it's not too thick for her and um, I do want it to be pretty thin because it's angel hair. Angel hair pasta is very thin. And I should be doing this on my counter right there. But I have my um, selfie stick and my Gatorade on there. So, yes, I have Gatorade in the nursery. The reason why is... Well, I'm going to chop her spaghetti up because... Um, She can't eat that. She can't eat a long thing. She's supposed to be eating baby food. There we go. And there's hair on it. Ew. Oh. Just peel that off. Okay. Just making sure you guys can see this because to show you guys how I do it. Um, the, um, Snack and Sarah's, I wouldn't really need to cut it up if I ever got a Snack and Sarah, because they can eat, like, I watched a Kaylee video, and she ate, like, green beans, and they were really long, like, really long. But she's a Snack and Lily, so she can't, like, bite on it, which is not a bummer actually because then I wouldn't be able to feed her liquid but which is why I've been kind of contemplating with the fact on if I should get it or not so yeah don't ask if I'm gonna get it or not because I don't know okay this one's really angel hair because I didn't use enough that's all right this one's like more realistic because <laughs> like look at these are like thick so that is spaghetti. There's only a little in there because I do have to cut up the meatballs. So I'll just put that aside. And I don't actually know if I'm going to do a video feeding her because, well, 
it kind of messes up my nursery. So here's what we have for the meatball. I'm going to make her three meatballs. And I'm going to have to cut them up for her. Um, I'm probably not going to feed her in the high chair, but I'm going to feed her. Because then you guys won't be able to see. So I'm making them pretty small. So that I can make multiple. And I can don't have to cut them as much as if I made one huge one. So actually I think I can make four. Okay, that one's a little smaller, so that's just the extra meat one. <laughs> Even though this is the extra meat. Okay, so we have four cute... I could make a fifth one, but... Mm, I don't want to. Alright, so there's her adorable spaghetti and meatballs, and I'm going to feed her right here. Next video.